Well, hello, welcome to Double Talk right here on Channel 98. I am Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, and yes, we are in Channel 98, which is a real station. And in fact, a 98 in school is an A plus, so we are the A plus station of Las Cruces. What All the others are less. What's 100? There's no station 100. It's probably porn. No, but it, you know, if, a, if 98 is A plus, anything over 97.5 is an A plus in my book. Oh, you're a kind of a loose I'm grader. I'm a there. loose grader, but nobody ever gets an A plus except this station because it's so good. Oh. Because look, we're color coordinated, green and are we? Some weird color that I'm wearing. There. Uh, something like that. Oh, look, I have my. This thing is working. Hey, oh you know, yeah. I was looking around the other day and I saw this new. Uh, Where were you looking around? It's new to Las Cruces. Where I were you looking? I don't know. Here and there, everywhere. Really? It's called uh, Business Journal, Mesilla Valley Business Journal. This is uh, Volume One, Number One. Could be a collector's item. Are we doing uh, advertising now for uh, other things? Well, yes. You know, we talk about new restaurants. So what does this have? Talk about new publications. You know, they've tried to do a publication with uh, health, right? The balloon rally. Balloon rally. When's that? It's coming up this month. Oh, look, this is a better picture. Look at it. Yeah, it's this coming month. up this month. Woo! Uh, this so month also has a bunch of things. This month is January. Those of you who are still trying to catch up, we finish the new year. Go see our new year show. It's uh, featured on. Facebook and, well, it's not Facebook, it's on YouTube. Of course, if you're on a Facebook page, you can check it out there, too. Uh, as long as you're plugging things, here's what I'm currently investigating. What's that? I, I have Comcast. I have one L in my name, and it's not Mike. Uh, uh, <laughs> Comcast, you know, v is where I get my TV. I also get my internet. Ah. The phone in my house has been having so much static, I've decided to move from uh, Century, what is it? CenturyLink. CenturyLink uh, over to Comcast, <laughs> and they have uh, pretty good deals. Those of you who are on Comcast, and if you're watching this, not you on are. the uh -huh. computer, you're, you're watching Comcast. Uh, you get that, you get your phone. So what I found out from your phone is if somebody's ringing, you know, not only do they have caller ID on your phone, but if you're watching TV, it will come across on your screen, who's the name of the person who's calling. So it ruins the show you're watching. Great. It, it ruins the show you're watching, but you don't have to get up. You say, your sister. Oh. Your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Yes. That would be a little uh, ethereal if that happened to uh, the mother-in-law. But hey, uh, let me ask you this. That sounds kind of cute, huh? Uh, Go ahead. Ask me. Do you like your wife's mother-in-law more than hers? No. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Uh, oh, you don't have a mother-in-law. I don't have any mothers-in-law anymore. Right, or ever. I'm, a, I'm an orphan. Ever. Right. An orphan-in-law. I'm an orphan You're an orf in orphan-in-law. Are oh, you going to read the paper? By the way, Vir Virgin Galactic is looking for vendors. And so if you have a business out there that uh, has goods and services that Virgin Galactic might need, contact like what? them. Oh, anything that... Uh, like somebody selling... Office uh, supplies, uh, vehicles, uh, Souvenirs. Cabling, fixtures, you, you go equipment. up around the earth, Furniture. and they come back, you say, uh, buy these. These are made out of shells found in New Mexico. No, these are all earthbound uh, things and supplies any, earthbound, any huh? business could use. You mean like blank paper, hey, copy paper? Carpeting, tile, and everything. Carpeting, tile. Furniture. For a lot of tile paper. goes into those, uh, those uh, spaceships. They're going to need copiers for the mm -hmm. office. Copiers. You know, uh, so electric typewriters. Selectric. All that. I have some selectric. Uh, How know. about beta uh, VCRs? I'm sure they need slide rules. You know, slide rules. Because they're rocket scientists. They are technical people. They slide so rules are good. Got you an abacus or two you're not using? An abacus. Oh, you want to talk about, yes, that's that paper. I'm plugging uh, uh, the triple, what is it, triple play Comcast. Since okay. you live in a world beyond wires, you can't get Comcast in that world beyond. Oh, that's, you mean the satellite realm? You, you're in the satellite realm. So oh, stop dishing. You, you can't watch us on, uh, you can't watch us live. No, I can't. Well, we're not live anyway. I can watch it watch live. Watch us on our computer. I can watch it stream live on the computer anytime I like. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. So anyway, so once again, uh, our favorite uh, thing to talk about, usually in the middle of the show, we decided to get it out of the way, is go adopt a cat or a dog. What does that say? I love dog. I love Yurga, you. you, with a G. You well, That's dogs can't really spell. It'd be funny if I love grrr. <laughs> you know. Well, or uh, yeah. the, the cat could say, "I love meow." Well, the point is, what's the point? There's dogs and cats that need adoption because they don't have a home, and they're languishing away at the uh, animal shelter, and soon they'll be put to death if nobody adopts them. So, 
please go out and adopt a dog and a cat. You can get them this weekend at the Farmer's Market on the downtown mall. You can also get them up at the animal shelter any time of the day or night. Any time, except the night. Except the night, actually. And uh, at various, once in a while, various pet stores around town will have uh, uh, adoption uh, capabilities there, too. And so by this plea to people to adopt something, are, are you so showing your, your projected need to have somebody take you in and protect you? Is, that, is this your own need when you identify with cats and dogs that well, you I'm, feel I'm you tired need of to be protected? In, I'm tired of in living a, in a cage, in, Michael. You are? Uh, yes. Well, and we, I'm we tired can of being do fed that. kibble. So you want to live on the street, huh? No, I want someone to adopt me. Okay, You'd so like to adopt a adoption host. times for Mark are any time of the day or night. In the night, he's got a lot of time, so you can adopt him just for a night or, or maybe a couple of minutes, yeah, we hours. Could we could have a adopt, a TV, adopt, adopt a, a TV host. <laughs> you could be, we could have a TV host of your very own. That's right. In your own home, live. Uh, Instead of having to watch us on television, you could have us in your own home, live. It wouldn't cost that much. No, it wouldn't. It would cost uh, you a lot Very in uh, personal uh, uh, expense. It'd be well worth it. Yes. Adopt so, your own television host now. Write that down on the bottom. Adopt a host. Adopt a host. And uh, so, please. And that's enough about that, I think. I, I'm, I'm still working on my uh, thing here. So, yeah. we, we, do you want to be adopted or do you want to be a host or do you want to do a live show in somebody's house? We could do that, too. Okay. Let's do that. Now, well, now everything's all thwarted. Yes. Speaking we're, of... We're getting away from adoptions. Now, uh, now are the centennial right days. Now. You're watching this on TV at 11 on Saturday. The parade just started. Just started. You have time to get down there to see the finish of it once you finish watching this show. Or, it's a, it's a two-mile long parade. Or you could watch this on your iPod. <clears throat> no, you can't because it's Comcast. You, well, you could get it on our internet hookup, which is apparently live. So you could watch this. The same as those of you going down to the farmer's market can see Bob Divin and see the show at the same time. Yeah, or you can wait and catch us on YouTube in a couple of days. Uh, I'll put it on right away so, or before. Actually, so there's a number of things going on this weekend. Uh, the first thing, are we going to do the parade now? The Las there's a parade going well, on right now. And why? 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 Because you can get there. No, why is there a parade? Yeah, why is there a parade? Why is there a parade? Because it's Centennial Days. Oh, we didn't explain that? Centennial so Days, centennial. Las, Las Cruces, not Las Cruces, but New Mexico. Uh, New has, Mexico, yes. It's been a state for 100 not years Las, now. Las Cruces has been in its form for It was, it was one of the longer latter that. states to be uh, It was the state. 47th 47. state. That's right. And who was after? Arizona. Well, uh, yes. Alaska and Hawaii. No, no, Arizona came right after us. Then came Alaska. And uh, Hawaii. Fine, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. I'm oh. Philippines. I'll ask you. Oh. W what's the what's the yeah? But what's the capital of Alaska? Oh, Juno. Well, I'm asking you. <laughs> no, Juno. So uh, yes. Well, we haven't gone. We haven't done this yet. So anyway, uh, we're doing. Why uh, you? We're doing uh, Laurel. And no, we're doing no. Uh, Abner Costello. No. So That's anyway. Uh, there's a parade going on, on right now. It's all celebrating the 100th anniversary, anniversary. of New Mexico statehood. I might be in that parade. I'll have to watch the footage and now, see. Now, Las Cruces is, was around about 60 years longer than New Mexico was a state. Of course, all the towns were around. The well, and Santa Fe was around for like 1530 uh, or something. So, it's the oldest state capital. But statehood, you know, the, the, the government, the United States government, was waiting for enough colonists to come from Europe to be in here t so that the vote would go in the way that they wanted. Mm. That's, that's pretty that much right? how, why it happened. They were waiting for that to happen. And Taft, wasn't Taft the guy? Taft is the guy who brought New Mexico into the fold and uh, there are going to be special events uh, featuring him. They have his head in one of those domes like they have in Futurama for Nixon. I think they yeah. have a, a, a likeness of him carved out of butter. Carved out of butter. I think they used a Buddha and they put a beard on the Buddha. They also have a gentleman who, who portrays William Howard Taft. A gentleman? In person at the, uh, at the uh, Farm and Ranch Museum this weekend. Does that mean, as a gentleman, do you mean he has good manners? Or is he a person? He is, he is a person. He's a person. He portrays our president. You can get into my, you can get into my screen here. 
What year? While he's on the phone. What year was uh, Taft? What, what number? I think it was 1912. Was he? Was he like what? The, he was uh, right before Woodrow Wilson, I 18th, believe. 19th president? No, no, he must have been about the 20, I don't know. Lincoln was the 16th, 28th, right? 16th, and uh, our president now, who, you know, a lot of people, like Republicans, he's don't, don't want to believe that he's second? 47th, I think. No, no, no. You don't want to hear us go on about how much we don't know about uh, numbers and history, do you? But you anyway, want to hear about look. stuff that makes America great, like the fact that we've been in business for a uh, uh, hundred years. Business as a state. State being a state is a business because when you have government, you have to do things in appropriate fashion so that things are facilitated and services get delivered to the people. We wouldn't have had that, uh, that uh, dam project. I mean, uh, DAM. Don't say that about that, pro oh, that project. project. That dam project that gave us the- uh, Elephant Butte. Elephant Spot. And, uh, uh, we, and they what? have a nice damn bait shop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you yeah. get plenty of minnows there too. Well, now we and, know. And they have damn bathrooms that are really clean. <laughs> oh, you and your damn jokes. Complaints. Now, listen, there's a lot of events going on con connected with connected. the centennial days. Yes. Including, including at the Rio Grande Theater today. Uh, Saturday. Jeff Berg. That's him. Right we'll be there. talking about Western movies. As they relate to Los, to New Mexico. What's that a picture of? Oh, that's the Long Ranger. Which version of the Long Ranger? That's not long, lone. Lone, lone Ranger. Ranger. That's, I think he's a Long Ranger. That's Clayton Moore. Hi ho. The uh, one and only Lone Ranger that anyone should accept. Clay no, there's plenty of. No, Clayton Would you have Moore. more? What are you looking this up? Okay. Yes, no, there, there's this. been a, a lot of uh, Lone Rangers. Of course, there was a, a lot of eyeliner on that uh, horse, don't you think? So the Lone Ranger, what else does he have going? Look, Jeff today, Berg today at, at 1 o'clock at the Rio Grande Theater, Jeff Berg is doing two shows uh, at the Rio Grande Theater. One, the first one is at 1 o'clock, and that is about uh, Westerns Chapter 4. Westerns, watch out, you're going to poke at your eye out in that box. And it's then at 3 o'clock, The Good, The Bad, and The Curious. And these are all films that were made in New Mexico. Not The Curious. Yes. Furious. The Good, The Bad, and The Curious. Not those are Furious. No. <laughs> it sounds uh, more exciting. You're making me furious if you don't cut that. Well, you're not very curious. But anyway, uh, Jeff Berg's doing two film programs down there. If you're a film lover interested in uh, film history, especially as it relates to New Mexico, drop on down to the Rio Grande Theater Peace. today at 1 o'clock and then again at 3 o'clock. And they're two separate programs. Who's Jeff Berg? Jeff Berg is a local film historian, uh, local writer, and uh, a friend okay. of mine. He also is a board member of the Mesilla Valley Film Society. Yes, trying to get them to have a place to show movies. That's right. Continuously, without default on a building. By the way, what's the movie this week at the Fountain Theater? The movie this week is uh, oh, uh, Margin Call. Margin Call. Which is, uh, looks, it's got great actors. Can't remember who they are. Kevin Spacey and... Uh, uh, lots of people. And it's intense. It's amazing. Jeremy that it Irons. Is, it's amazing that it is at the uh, Fountain Theater because it's a top-notch movie full of action. And those of you who don't know what a margin call is, go ask your stockbroker. That's what he's doing with your money right now. Well, yeah, it's about what happens at these uh, financial what firms. firms. Where they buy things on margin and they ha don't have enough money to cover I their think, margin. I think the film played here for one week at the Allen Theaters. And then it was gone. And that was it. So yes. luckily it's back because I, I was sorry that I missed it. So uh, that's going on. Uh, when's your movie? Later. And uh, oh, that's, we'll do that later. When you come back for the break, we'll talk about uh, have a, break now. a special movie event also happening at the Rio Grande Theater this week. And uh, We should talk about food before we go for the break because that makes everybody happy and really excited about what do you got? going out. Because what happens, you, do you realize when people take uh, commercial breaks, they r run out and they go get food in the kitchen and they go to the bathroom and then they come back and we'll be here when you get back. Unless you got a DVR, you can just hit pause. You can do that. And then you can take as long as you want. But you in the meantime, let's take a break and we'll, we'll be right back. And we're back. We are. N now, um, Wednesday at, yes. the Rio, at the Rio Grande Theater, there will be a rare yeah. screening of um, my short film called Lowriders at the filmmakers get together that they have at the Rio Grande Theater uh, every Wednesday, uh, every second Wednesday of the month. And so coming down to the Rio Grande Theater, it's free at seven o'clock uh, Wednesday night. Do people have to worry about uh, being and attacked there by no, no. filmmakers? No, hopefully no? not. Okay. You get to see my film and several other films that people bring in. Maybe they'll bring in a trailer of the film they're working on or maybe a, 
uh, a, a sample of what they're working on. A lot of filmmakers will come and say, oh, I need some extras um, this week for my movie. Well, or, that could be good. or if anybody has a water truck, they can you help me with. It's that kind of a thing. And then there's usually some, some snacks afterwards. How many trailers could fit in that space? Because that's not a very big space. Uh, Maybe no, but one or two trailers. Well, we should look at a trailer for lowriders. Let's we look have at one. that. That would be exciting. Kind of give you an idea of what the film's really not about. Uh, not about, but yes. Whenever that's ready, we'll roll that in. Hit and, it. Uh, uh, looks like a Cadillac to me. In a world where lowriders cruise the hood, in a blatant orgy of auto-eroticism. Anything can happen. This time... That car is broke. It does. Low riders. I wonder what does happen. I don't know. Does well, I can't give happen? it away. No. Uh, if I did, the producer would kill me. But you, you could talk about your trailer, the trailer of the but trailer. You know what, what oh, you need your glasses what inspired for this. the movie, of course. This is what inspired the movie. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be lowriders. And there was. So, that's how they did it. That's it. Oh, well. I knew God had his hand in that because, you know, lowrider people are very religious. In fact, this film. Doesn't, doesn't the, uh, uh, what is it, the, uh, the bishop do a blessing of lowriders during mariachi week? Did you know that? I, I'm sure he does. He does. And blessing of motorcycles, but I think blessing of the lowriders, that would be good. I mean, really, they go up and down, they're whimsical, they're... They're, They're works like of art, God. actually, in, in so many ways. They are. They, they They're have beautiful. movement, like uh, a dance team. Like uh, the New York Ballet did a, a dance based on lowriders. They did? No. I didn't think so. I didn't think so either. But, we but did, it we was did a good idea. We did lowriders based on the Bolshoi Ballet. On the, yes, it's oh, yeah. very That's true. Poetic. You'll see it when you come, when you come in to view the film. Yeah. That's a Wednesday night, 7 o'clock at the Rio Grande Theater. Right, and uh, some people are rushing to get there. It's a, uh, yeah, and uh, yes, that's true. Yes. <laughs> so when is it? Wednesday at uh, 7 o'clock, Real Grand right. Theater. I'll be there. Okay, good. With bells on. Now, um, you know, the holidays have just ended. We're, they're kind of trickling out. I noticed a lot of people around town There's still have their Christmas on, trees man. up and yes. the Christmas lights are still up. You, know, you go to all that work, you hate to take them down so quickly. But well, you hate to put them up you know and what? you hate to take them down. The time is because I'm already seeing Valentine's Day ads in the stores. Displays are already up. I was in the party store for uh, New Year's and... Uh, Half the store had Valentine's Day things yes. already. We got President's Days coming up. Pre thank goodness we have these things. We have a very important uh, holiday that's uh, big with our family, which is uh, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Yes, it's it's like February second. Uh, you know, it's an important day. You like that better than Millard Fillmore's birthday? Yes, because there's been more than one Millard Fillmore, but there's only one Groundhog Day. Really. Yes, yeah, there's Millard Fillmore high schools all over the country. So it oh. must have been more than one uh, Millard Fillmore. Well, and then, of course, there's a comic strip called Mallard Fillmore. Mallard Fillmore, which is, uh, you know, isn't that right-wing like stuff? To, to Mil Millard Fillmore. Mil <laughs> or is it Willard Fillmore? Mallard, Mallard Fillmore. Uh, but, you know, Christmas is a time when you get the most gifts. You don't get many gifts on, uh, uh, well, you get some on Valentine's Day. You don't get any on President's Lucky. Day, right? I don't so think so. What kind of gifts do you think were the most uh, uh, prevalent in Christmas? In Christmas? Well, uh, I don't yeah, know, I know how prevalent know. they were, but, but a very popular gift were, were guns. Handguns, rifles, assault weapons. Play guns, toy guns? Mm, not so much. Horses? Um, Lone Ranger carried uh, two guns, I think, you know. Two guns. Yes, not like that. Pearl handles. And uh, there, we, there we go. Very popular gifts at the holiday season this year. A lot of, a lot of people blame the economy. They're afraid people breaking into their house, try to steal their stuff. You've got to protect yourself. Protect it means you have to sit in your house with your gun you before they can castle. get it. Uh, a lot of people buying AK, what, what number 47s, is it? 47s. AR-17s. Uh, uh, Uzis. Which one's an Uzi? Handgun, They're buying Uzis? 
Uh, machine pistols. It's always good for when guns. you're going to be attacked by the Democratic hordes. You know, when the 99% uh, get kicked out of uh, the, uh, what is it, the park in front of the library? Yes. They're coming to your house. So you better get your guns because that's what's going to happen. The, the 99% is going to attack you. But you the are the You're the 1%. No, no. Only the 1% doesn't watch this show. Yeah, the 1% watches this show because they, they have nothing better to do. And uh, they know that this is where they get all the tips on how to rule the country. Oh, Be well, if you need guns, when the zombies are coming up the driveway, you need, you need a table of guns like that. Uh, you do. And, and you also need uh, ammunition. Don't forget your ammunition. ammunition. You know, don't go unloaded. You, need the <laughs> you don't want to go into any fight you without a load. You don't want to take a knife to a gunfight. Yes, that's in a coming attraction now, right now, isn't oh it? Oh, look, there's uh, Mr. Montes. Speaking of getting shot. He shot at the cops. The cops shot back. Guess who won? Uh, see, uh, I think that number there, five, that's how many bullets went into him. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't all go in there. Uh, uh, well, you know, the cops probably missed a few times with all the shots. Yeah, there. but, but apparently. They, it was enough to do the job. So this was the only co uh, time when the cops killed somebody in 2011. They hadn't killed anybody since 2010, which is when they killed that kid who had the sword. The, the he came lizard out, man, the yeah. lizard man. He came out and and so uh, worked, this worked. Worked. You know, they're what, they do one or two a year, right? It's not like Albuquerque. Just one. Just one. In Albuquerque, they do like five or six a year easily. Well, and I believe Texas is the highest in executions. In a way, that's an execution. You well, know, that's the execution that you don't have well, uh, spend thousands of dollars. Not that I approve of executions. Well, that's the, yeah, but you call that self-defense. Well, if a guy's coming at you back. with a, if a guy shoots at you with a gun, yeah, I would say the best way to go is go, shoot him back. Yeah. Now, also, uh, I think... Oh, we want to talk about this. Oh, oh, by Speaking the way, about your chance of getting shot. The Powerball tickets are, have just doubled in price. They're now $2 instead of $1, which means I'm going to cut my purchase of them in half. Or buy less. So, Same. you know, your chances of getting shot by a cop in Las Cruces is, is greater than winning the Powerball. So if there's 80,000 people in Las Cruces and one gets shot a year, your chances are one out of 80,000 to get shot. Powerball, it's probably one out of three million. So you're saying I should wear a bulletproof vest when I buy a Powerball ticket? <laughs> yeah, you should. You never know. Oh, we, by the way. Uh, so two bucks. Ev Madrid Earhart is running for U.S. Congress against Steve Pierce. Oh, well, she's going to run. She, she's going to oh, run. She's, she's, she's running in the primary. And now there may be somebody else joining her in the primary on the Democratic side. She's Democrat for Congress. Uh, Steve Pierce, who hasn't done anything in his uh, second attempt. Wait, let's say anything in good. In Washington. Let's say anything good. No, he hasn't I don't done think anything so. good. Probably hasn't done anything He's good. He's done nothing, nothing but enrich himself and the corporations that got him elected. Can I make up some bogus facts now? Go ahead. Well, when Steve Pierce uh, got into office, he, he uh, only had uh, $8 million worth of uh, uh, assets. Now he has $80 billion. $80 billion? Well, yes. it's more like $30 million, I believe. I don't know. But uh, it's always good to make up uh, fake stuff about people. Oh, by the way, there's some show tunes on. We're, we're going to talk about the Triage that, Center, but we... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that next. The sh you like show tunes. I'm going to see that uh, Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock. Uh, why don't you go? That's at the uh, convention center, right? Yes, it's going to be like little tables. Oh, and yeah. How uh, much is it? I think it's uh, 35? 35, 45, and 55. Is there food involved? There is, and there is a, uh, you know, uh, pay for what you drink bar. I see. So I it's, a, it's a cute thing. People like show tunes. People who like Lonnie Klein and the uh, Las Cruces Symphony. Oh, uh, yeah, Las Cruces Symphony doing show tunes. They're providing uh, the music. pretty good. People will be singing and dancing? My, no, my wife will be singing uh, right next to me. Okay. Every song. Yes. Right next to me. Right? So the songs will just go on. Okay. There's no business like show business. Okay. You know that. Sophie Tucker. Thank you. Yes. Well, that's a Broadway tune. And uh, You do one. Pick and, one out. No, no. And also. Sweeney Todd. Tonight, though, our midnight movie yeah. is Boy in the Bubble, starring John Travolta. Uh, it was actually a TV movie, uh, I believe, uh, in this country. It was released as a feature worldwide, but uh, he plays a boy who has no immunity, and he grows up inside a plastic bubble to protect him from germs. Yet he had caught disco fever, didn't he? He did catch he disco fever. He caught disco fever. Obviously, the, the uh, plastic bubble is not impervious to disco fever. That's an... Dancing, dancing. It was shortly after this film that he did Saturday Night Fever. Yes. Oh, this may this probably you know they said he could do the boy in the plastic bulb. He can do a disco idol. Well, he did he did this movie just after he did 
Welcome back, Carter. Oh, that, he, he had a great run, and welcome back, Carter. And he, then he did we'll carry. F we'll forget about the triage center. We'll talk about that next week. Do you we'll want to do that? No, next week, we're going to talk about the triage center because we pretty much run out of Come time. Come back for the triage center. So that's pretty much all the time we have this week on Double Talk. But um, we do we'll have be back next week. We will. Oh, next week's going to be a great week because, you know, it's not the week after New Year's. We've had time to recover. The alcohol is still uh, finding its way through our kidneys. You drink? No, I just uh, put alcohol on my wounds, which are internal. Oh, yes. Yes, it's sad. Uh, okay, well, we're going to wrap things up now. We are. And hope that you join us next week right here on Double Talk. Thank you.